Hello once again, and today I'm going to be talking about um, what um, inspires these car manufacturers to give um, cars a certain name, um, i.e. some uh, the older cars of the, like the 70s and like Ford started naming cars after places in certain countries um, like the Granada, the Cortina, the Capri, all ex I suppose they name after exciting um, results in like, Italy and Spain and well, I don't know Granada, I've never been to Granada, um, the capital of Spain isn't it, um, is it? Or is it Madrid? I keep forgetting. Uh, what is the capital of Spain? It's one of them two. Um, I think it's I think it's Granada, isn't it? No, it's Madrid. Is it Granada? I don't know. It's one of those two. I fucking should know the answer to that. I probably do, but I've just got a fucking brainwave. Um, um, yeah. So, car name. Um, you know, in America, America, for instance, when they made going through their muscle cars, they did give them really nice names, really good names to, you know, as appropriate to the car, like the Ford Mustang, you know, um, the Dodge Charger, um, Challenger, the Dodge Challenger, um, the Pontiac Trans Am Firebird. Now, that was one of my favourite muscle cars of all times. That and the Dodge Charger. You know, the names of them was, you know, it gave it a great name. It set the car off as well. And what did we name cars over here? Uh, back in the 70s and 60s. Uh, and it really gave them some dull names, didn't we? Um, I think we still do. The Ford Focus. I suppose that's all right, you know. It's not an exciting sort of name, the Focus. It's not that exciting of a name. Um, the Ford Fiesta. <laughs> oh, fucking come on. A Fiesta. Sort of a no I know it's all right. It's a popular car. I mean, it's been going around for a long, long time, that car has. Um, uh, what else is there? The Ford um, Cat. That was a, a bit of a silly name. I've done a video about that. What? Cat. Cat. Sounds like someone had a cough or something. I know. We'll name it the Ford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the Ford. It was other, the Vauxhall. What about Vauxhall? The Vauxhall Viva. <laughs> I know they re they um, re come out of that name again with later Vauxhalls but the old Vauxhall Viva come from the, I think it was the 70s car wasn't a great car was it <coughs> um the Viva the Vauxhall Viva yeah but that's nothing compared to um the Morris Marina I mean what the fuck was they thinking about calling it the Morris Marina what a name that is you know I know fucking why because it was such a crap car the first thing you fucking wanted to do was drive it into a fucking marina. Oh god, that's not as bad as the Austin Allegra. What, what sort of a name is that? I mean, it's, I mean, the car was a disgusting-looking heap of shit. Um, I suppose it's appropriate to give it a name like the Allegro. Oh, I drove an Allegro. You sad bastard. Uh, well, it was such a crap car, you know. Um, people probably out there are probably going to watch this. Oh, the Lego was a... No, it fucking was. It was a piece of shit. I mean, they should have gave that car a more appropriate name, I suppose. Like, I don't know, the Cliff. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's more appropriate. Called it the Cliff. Because the first thing you want to fucking do is push it over a cliff. Either that or drive it into Cliff Richard. <laughs> but that's the thing. As if you can crash it. I mean, you uh, you couldn't fucking... They were so unreliable, you probably couldn't crash it. Um, yeah, you have to push start the fucking thing. 
and it goes for about five seconds so if you're in a luck you might be able to crash it in five seconds but no no it'll fucking just grind for an old fucking stop wouldn't it yeah that was such a crap car I called it the clear i think allegro was a horrible name i mean it was ah oh, what a name you just say it allegro what the fuck is that all about allegro um yeah call it the cliff that would have been more appropriate if i was naming a car just say i owned my own car manufacturing company um if i had to name a car <laughs> i'd probably i'd probably call it the bastard because you know it's going to be a bastard <laughs> Or if another manufacturer called it, I don't know, the Vauxhall Bastard. <laughs> well, there, there were bastards back in the day. <laughs> I know, I know, my dad had a couple old Vauxhalls that were uh, shit. Mind you, most cars were shit back in... I don't know, cars back then, you know, in the 70s, because, you know, we couldn't, we, could, we couldn't afford a brand new car. I mean, we had to make do by second-hand shit. Um... And usually back like, like the late seventies, the early eighties, you know, you was buying um second hand cars, maybe ten years old. Um so you was buying in that seventies period when they was just making shit. Um never we never owned um anything from British Leyland, fortunately. Um I did like the Rover S D one, that wasn't a bad car, even though it was made by British Leyland, so you know it was bound to go wrong after two days <laughs> the austin princess the austin princess now that was a fucking horrible car wasn't it they made the exclusive versions like called it the vandom pla the vandom pla i think they even done that with the allegro called the more exclusive model the top of the range model the vandom pla what was fucking top of the range about it what it fucking lasted for a week before it broke down or something. Um, <laughs> you could actually stop the fucking thing because it had brakes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a fucking joke. The Vandom Plur. <laughs> god, Austin made some shit cars. Isn't that Austin Maxi? You know, I'm talking about, because cars were, you know, cars of today. You can't really talk about cars of today, really, because, you know, they're very reliable. All cars are very reliable today, so you can't really comment about the reliability of the car. Maybe the build quality is another thing. Um, you know, some there's cases that the car starts, you know, not body work, right? It's just silly little things inside. I mean, all compute, cars got computers in them nowadays. You know, all these side impact things that protect the driver. You know, cars are very sophisticated car things now. You know, they're, you know, they're very, very reliable. Computer management, all that, you know, sorts the engine out. You know, cars today can run 100,000 miles, no problem. But I'm talking about cars back in the day, like the 70s, you know, when I was growing up and um, my dad used to buy... Lot of, like different cars because like, second hand cars you know you know that's what people did back in the day it was easy to buy second hand cars and sell them on and you know now like today when you have to fuck about all the um, insurance details and write to the dvla every time you buy a new car or sell it it was just an easier experience to buy and sell cars years ago unlike today um but then again cars were um also very nickable Back in the day, I you know I used to walk around the fields and see loads of bloody burnt out cars after they've taken it out for a joyride. Um, yeah, but what other names were there? The Ford Console. Well, that was years ago. Oh, very droll, isn't it? Um, yeah, just the horrible. You know, it was just the horrible names. The British car industry just gave cars. Just, un, you know, I, I'm just boring, you know, cars were boring, you know. They gave, gave them stupid names like that, but I think Ford started to realise this, made the cars a little bit more exciting by giving them, 
you know, exotic names like Capri, um, Cortina. They went downhill a bit when they called it the Sierra. Yeah, the Ford Sierra. Yeah, didn't have that ring to it, like the Ford Mondeo. Uh, I don't know, perhaps they're trying to make cars sound better by giving them foreign names, I don't know. Um, the Vetra, I suppose that was better, they took out, they rebadged it from the Cavalier. The Vetra, the Nova, um, obviously that got taken out, rebadged as the Corsa. I think Nova meant something in a language, means no good. <laughs> Nova. Um, it's also a sort of dance, isn't it? The Bosso Nova. So they named their cars after dance routines as well. Um, the Corsa. Um, what else is there? There's loads of different car names. There's certain part of BMWs and Peugeots named them after numbers. Um, obviously, BMW 318, depending on the engine size, like the um, 3 Series, the 318. 518 or whatever etc so mm, i suppose because you've got the name bmw right in front you don't have to say what car you're driving you just say you're driving a bmw that yeah see that's all that just speaks for itself you're driving a bmw um to me it's no big deal but um a oh, mercedes they got weird names the mercedes the c-class or the compressor or something like that um audi yeah i think they're no, it was under other numbers, and they of a quattro because all the majority of their cars were four wheel drive Audis, um, Peugeot, um, same thing they named their cars, or Renault, the Renault 5. Well, oh, that's exciting, wasn't it? What's if you owned a turbo? I've been in one of them, um, Renault 5 GT turbos, yeah, that I suppose that was all right. The Clio. <laughs> I drive a Clio or the Cinquecento. Oh my god, what a fucking tongue t twister that was. I drive a Cinquecento. You sad bastard. <laughs> um, yeah, the Mini, classic Mini. Yeah, but the, that, the name spoke for the car really because it was a small car, so yeah, it was appropriate to call it the Mini. Um, yeah, what else was there? Fucking hell, there's loads of different car names, wasn't it? Really bad. Um, uh, the Nissan Micra. I suppose that was the same sort of thing because I think Micra meant micro, so it was a small car. So the, the Nissan Sunny. Oh no, no, Nissan was another company, or Datsun it used to be known as Datsun. Um, <laughs> God, they give they they gave this uh, car some um, names, didn't they? The Datsun Cherry. Or the Nissan Cherry. <laughs> Fancy calling your car a Cherry. <laughs> Come on. Okay. What are the Japanese thinking there? Just imagine. <laughs> you, you part your Cherry. <laughs> you part your Cherry in a car park and you lost it. You had to go to the um, the car park attendant. I've lost my cherry. <laughs> oh, congratulations, mate. Well done. No, no, no. Not that. I lost my car. <laughs> Fucking cherry. <laughs> oh, God. That was a, that's a name. The, the cherry. God. I don't think you see them anymore. Do they manufacture the cherry? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. Uh, what else? God. It's a, uh... The Tolbert. Who remembers Tolbert? Whatever happened to Tolbert? The Tolbert Sunbeam. I think they were a crap, weren't they? Was that a British car manufacturer? Or was they French? I can't remember. Tolbert. Um, oh, God, yeah. That, uh, they're probably best if they've forgotten about. <laughs> Tolbert. <laughs> Younger generation probably think, what the fuck's he talking about? Um, yeah, it was a manufa car manufacturer called Tolbert. Um, I might have been, were they part of Peugeot? It might have been, I can't remember. It might have been French. I think they could have been French. Oh, ignore that. Um, should really, I could Google this right now, but I don't know, I could. But what's the point? Um, 
Yeah, Talbot. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of different car manufacturers giving them really bad money. But there's just some of the highlight ones that I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, if there's only other car manufacturers or car names, um, the Ford Pinto. That was an American one, wasn't it? It was a bit of a Pinto. I drive a Pinto. Ooh, exciting, a Pinto. <laughs> What was that other the the AMC? They gave some gave some good names. The Matador, the AMC Matador. Yeah, was in um, Man with a Golden Gun, the Hornet, the Mat, the not the Haw the AMC Hornet. Also had that little um, that car was in um, Grange Grange Hill. <laughs> Grange Hill, not Grange Hill, fucking Wayne's World, Grange Hill. <laughs> the, you know, <coughs> the Murphmobile, uh, AMC Pacer, the Pacer, Ooh, I suppose. The Corvette, that was a nice name, Corvette. Um, yeah, Corvette, uh, Chevrolet gave some good names. The Corvette, Corvette Stingray, now that was a nice car. Yeah, so it was appropriate to give it a good name, you know. You don't want to create a good car, a really nice looking car, and give it a shit name like, I don't know, the bar, well, <laughs> the bathroom, I don't know. <laughs> you can make a nice car, you call it the Allegro. <laughs> well, that, everyone knew that was a shit car anyway. Um, the Maestro. The Maestro, the Montego, the fuck? Yeah, that would be called cool. What the Fuck? Yeah, the Ford What the Fuck? Yeah. Yeah, so... What, what would, if anyone's watching, I mean... What would you consider a good name of a car? What was your favourite car? What was, what was your favourite name of a car? You know, I'll leave you that one. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.